Hi friends, oh, welcome back. And first of all, I want to apologize for my voice. I've had the flu and I am still recovering, so please bear with me. Thank you so much for stopping by. I hope that you are having a wonderful day so far. In today's video, I'm going to clean and decorate my front porch for the fall season. And I have a very nice surprise because I'm taking you with me on a road trip to the Dutch countryside. So if you are interested in seeing that, then surely stick around. I always have a hard time tossing out my annuals after the season, especially when they are still looking good. Now these petunias, they don't, so I don't have a problem with that. But these still look very decent and I don't want the planters out here anymore. So I didn't know what to do. I wanted to replant them, but I decided just to toss them out. And in this planter, uh, unfortunately it broke, as you can see, sorry, it's out of the frame, but the bottom is coming off. So I'm tossing this out all together but leave me a comment down below let me know how you feel about tossing out your annuals and how you do it when fall comes and you want to transit from summer to fall what do you do with your annuals cleaning up the front porch and it is looking very nice and tidy now for my fall decor i didn't want to uh, really change everything up so i'm keeping everything in the same place i'm just going to be adding some pumpkins the color i will be keeping for now but i might move it to my backyard later in the season and here you guys these begonias i couldn't get myself to toss these out they were looking so so pretty still so i decided to keep them but i did find these header shrubs that i wanted to plant here and these are actual perennials 
so I'm not going to be switching out um, the plants in those uh, planters anymore I'm just going to be planting these later on in the season and uh, they will have to do throughout all the seasons of the year but for now I'm going to keep the begonias here now this space is all cleaned up and ready to get decorated for fall but I wanted to mention something you remember my water hose it was actually my sweet subscriber Justine that suggested that I would turn the crate around and cover the water hose which was a brilliant idea but as I did it it didn't really work out for me because every time I needed to use my hose I had to remove everything from the crate so it wasn't really practical so it isn't a pretty side but this will have to do but thank you again uh, Justine for the suggestion but enough said let's go on a road trip go to the annual pumpkin patch to get pumpkins but ever since covid they didn't grow their pumpkins so i had to search for an address elsewhere if you haven't seen that video i did a video on the pumpkin patch uh, a few years back it was so so nice you guys i highly suggest you go and check that video i will leave a link of it in the description box below as well as in the icard up here but anyway i had to look for a new address to find pumpkins and i found this beautiful pumpkin farm and you guys it isn't a road trip for me because it took me 45 minutes to get here but it was totally worth it and they have so many pretty pumpkins and what i love look at this it says self-service just puts the money in the box isn't this cute you guys and they have the red of the blue box for paper money and the wooden box for change so you guys i just wanted to do a quick uh, vlog here i just wanted to show you this place um i had to ride cross country to find this place and oh my god i'm so happy look at what they have they have such pretty pumpkins and i will show you that more in a minute but this year it was terrible because i live in the big city and we don't have uh, any pumpkin farms around so this is about uh, 35 minutes from my home 
but anyway yeah i'm sorry i have my glasses on but it is a very nice day outside and oh my gosh i am so excited and the best thing is they are so affordable you will see that in a minute the prices are so reasonable so i am happy that i have at least this address for next year too so i'm gonna pick out my pumpkins and then um yeah i'm gonna go home and see if i can start decorating my front porch these are all the pumpkins that i picked up and i had a hard time choosing because i really wanted to bring home everything but i couldn't of course so i decided to do a mix of colors as you can see i have those like gray heirloom pumpkins that i really love but of course i also like the orange ones and i'm gonna show you up close how affordable these were you guys i couldn't stop picking out pumpkins just because they were so affordable as well now anyway these are the ones that i'm going to be using for my front port so let's start decorating thinking twice and I knew it would catch up and that we would be the ones left behind the stories I've been told they never seem to leave my mind Ooh, this road that I am on I gotta stay here for some time Somehow made it through without losing sight mm -hmm. And I still wonder where you are And if you found a way out from the dark mm -hmm. The stories I've been told They never seem to leave my mind I get my mom's from the garden center but this year i didn't because they didn't have any on sale and i just do not want to pay that much these i got from my local grocery store and i'm so happy because they were on sale as you can see they are a decent size and they were only 235 each and i got four in total i got two white ones and two of the orange ones and i also i did get the three little ones 
in the orange container that you see here on the left those i did get from my garden center because they had those for just one euro each so i uh, picked up three of them now i really had to search high and low to find this cushion because all of the thrift stores had already put away all their summer stuff so it was really hard to find something and especially in the color that i wanted but i was happy to come across this one for only 350 and i just wanted to show you the mums from the garden center they were really pretty but i was happy to find mine for half the price of these I saw these winter violas and I decided to pick them up for the two purple planters that I have on the wall on my front porch and what I love about these violas that they are a favorite cool season bedding plants and they are so tough and tolerant of the cold and winter weather and what I also love is that they grow throughout November and they will still be shining if it goes all well in my planter um, all the way at easter and beyond so i got them in white because i wanted to have like this neutral color and i'm gonna have to see if they will make it through uh, easter but i have a good feeling about these and i just need to pay attention to them throughout the winter season because they like to stay in a soil that is moist we have to try and keep up Cause this life's so much more Ooh, And I still wonder where you are I really wanted to have a fall sign but i didn't have anything so i searched my stash and i came across uh, these wooden pieces they were actually a lid from a wine crate and i decided to stain them and then glue them together using these popsicle sticks and some wood glue next i went on the internet and i got this happy pumpkin spice season text i used a transfer paper to transfer the text onto the wood and then i just simply used a permanent marker to fill in all the text and the leaf images and that was it to seal it off i did use a clear varnish This is my neighbor's wall and I didn't want to drill extra holes. All the holes that were already in it were from the previous owners. And so I had to use what I had and this was the only space I could hang this sign. But I really like how it turned out anyway. Now y'all, I'm sorry that I sometimes sound like a broken record, but I really wanted to have a fall rug here, but we just do not have that here in the Netherlands. So I decided to DIY my own. I had this Christmas rug for ages that I never used and I decided to spray paint it black and this spray paint wasn't working for me one bit. So I had to go out and get a better brand that actually only took two coats to get it completely black and what i did i created my own hello fall stencil and with this cute pumpkin and i simply used a orange spray can to uh, transfer the hello fall sign and the pumpkin onto the rug having this as the final result and i am loving how this turned out you guys it is so super cute That 
is already it for this decorate with me video i hope that you have enjoyed this and leave me a comment down below let me know what you think how it turned out and of course also my uh, fall diys i really like to know what you think so for now i want to thank you all so so much for watching and i hope to see you again in my next one really really soon until then always remember to live laugh and love and happy fall bye